Here is a brief out-of-the-box review of Heller's space station kit, the Station Spatiale Internationale uh, 1.125 scale. Uh, let's get some better light in here. Artwork is certainly nice. This is a uh, big box at just about a foot by a foot and a half large not a lot of photos on the box itself of the kit or anything there's a few paragraphs of details uh, this one in English uh, celebrates the fact that the station should be completed in 2004 sometime so uh, a bit of humor there and definitely a bit outdated few directions not too much here uh, lots of different languages the box itself does not come sealed it seems like a lot of uh, non-american uh, companies just trust consumers not to open and steal stuff I suppose this is one of those kits where you get a really big box and it is fully packed full of plastic it's not too often that happens and this is certainly a welcome sight uh, this is the only piece of the stand, and this attaches directly to one of the modules for a resting position, or of course you can hang it as well. There are two huge uh, bags of plastic here. Uh, all told, there's about 14 trees. And one of the things that stopped me from doing this kit, apart from not having any collected any reference material yet, is just the sheer scope of the amount of parts involved. Uh, kit itself is probably going to be a cubic foot or so, perhaps a little bigger. And I haven't done a parts count yet, but it's uh, significant. I think showing you the directions here will definitely give you an idea of what's involved. For uh, one thing I'll talk about right now that is going to need repair since this is an actual photo of the kit you can see the solar panel arrays are uh, quite droopy that's going to need to be fixed with some brass or steel or some other kind of plastic I also don't know exactly how accurate this is this could have been based on a previous design uh, such as the original which got changed I'm pretty sure there's two sets of these now but uh Again, I haven't done the uh, research on it yet, So, uh, but as the station is in the news this week, I figured I'd break this kit out and uh, show you around. So if we go here to step one, uh, it's not quite as difficult as I had initially thought it was, but even then you've got a whole bunch of parts and uh, one interesting thing about this kit is that it includes decal placement straight into the uh step itself and even painting details as well here's a good one part 14 step 14 you got a uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve pieces lots of them tiny in this one step and uh there are many 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 steps to this kit There's a good one. So again, uh, there's a lot of extra diagrams in here that uh, show things off that makes it look like a lot more pieces than there really are. So perhaps I'm just uh, freaking out a little over all the details. But again, if you're looking at a dozen pieces per step, there are definitely going to be quite a few to go. A lot of good detail in the pieces. Uh, I'm happy about that. Um, some really nice diagram work showing everything off and you know 16, 18 pages of uh, 18 pages total of directions is a nice little, little booklet here. Well, certainly not little. This is far bigger than an A4 or 11 by 14 size piece of paper. You get a nice big decal sheet, 
I was hoping that I may be able to avoid using all these blue solar panels because they don't look particularly accurate and I would like to have done some kind of gold leaf motif. Uh, however, because of all the detail involved in just all the different colorings and the sizing of the uh, rectangles, I may have to go with this after all. I'll uh, think about that in the future. I really need to collect a lot of reference for this kit before I really begin it, even before I do any pre-assemblies. But uh, there's some nice decals in here, certainly. It has a few of the module names, Unity, Destiny. All these will need to be updated, of course, because there's a lot more uh, modules added and named now. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing this one. This is going to be a long-term kind of situation because, uh, like I say, you definitely need reference for this one. And with 14 trees worth of pieces, it's definitely going to be a significant effort to uh, put this together. So uh, sorry for not opening the plastic here. I would like to keep it sealed. Uh, just so I don't lose anything ever and keep everything in nice good condition. I picked this kit up probably a year or so ago for about $40. Uh, Heller has several models in the series. I don't know if they're all the same scale at 1125. Getting a space shuttle at 1125 would certainly be nice, but uh, I'm pretty sure they only come in 144 or 172. Uh, I don't think I could actually scratch build a space shuttle, but you never know about such things. And perhaps Heller will also do one of the upcoming Constellation uh, Ares Orion crew modules. And I haven't noticed if there's a Soyuz capsule here attached yet. This could be it right there. And there was also a couple other automated modules that have been created by the ESA. Uh, I forget the name. It was some kind of artist like Rembrandt or Da Vinci model. or It was an automated carrier, basically. But, uh, yeah. So, once I get some reference going for this, I will definitely kick into it. And perhaps by the time the station is completed, uh, as of today in 2009, it's supposed to be about 80% with the current mission up in space. I think it's uh, STS-119, and there are only a couple more uh, shuttle flights to go for that, and then there's a lot of extra modules from, uh, I believe, Europe and Japan that still have to be added. And uh, again, once I find out how uh, accurate this is to what's really going on that will also be another significant factor so I'll be doing a lot of research at uh, JPL and NASA sites and uh, see how much video and photo reference I can get and I'll go from there so thanks for watching definitely uh, if you're looking for a good kit to buy this is certainly a significant one and uh, it looks like it'll build up into a really nice piece so take care and I'll catch you guys all on the next video Thanks for watching.